here to talk to you a little bit about what I will call low seriousness. Low seriousness is when you're bullied out of your comfort zone in terms of the way that you represent yourself and the world around you. We try to be serious and it comes over as um, capitulating to uh, self-degradation. An example of this would be when you lightheartedly represent um, a success that you know is um, a medium achievement um, because uh, it hurts that um, you're selling something that you feel should be recognized and you know that no effort is going to be made to penetrate deeply into what you've done. It's the feeling of being overlooked and not credited. And it can lead to a broken heart, but you still have to get along with people. So the way that you get along with people is by playing, play acting that you've accepted Neglect. This is a form of low seriousness. You know, I think of this whenever I try to talk to people about poetry. You know, people want to keep it light, but it's really important to me. So when I talk to you about the Kennedy assassination, which is what I think this video is primarily about, it's in a form of low seriousness. I know that it's very important to understand what happened and what the research has indicated about what has been found. And yet I know that people have moved on. A crowd of people turned away. So uh, if you want to know who actually killed JFK, it's simple enough. It was the Warren Commission. Two friends of Adolf Hitler sat on the Warren Commission. One of them was Alan Dulles, and the other was um, John McCloy. John McCloy sat in Adolf Hitler's personal booth at the Munich Olympics with him. And Alan Dulles met with him for the Schroeder Bank to forgive his campaign debts in 1933. So uh, two friends of Adolf Hitler. I mean, if you look at the many years of raking the coals that studious and determined researchers have poured over evidence and documents concerning you find little anecdotes like the report that Alan Dulles tipped his cigar ashes in the bullet fragments and made a joke. He's found laughing in Dairy Plaza. I've seen that. But there was more to it than just two friends of Adolf Hitler sitting on the Warren Commission. Alan Dulles wrote the book that describes Oswald's double identity, the double fantasy of uh, 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 Oswald played. And one side of his uh, idea, he was a real Roy Rogers. He was a Marine Corps marksman who uh, was trained in Russia in a top secret Japanese air base. And the other, he was Ivan the Terrible, a uh, stowaway comrade in uh, Manx, Russia, bringing home a wife and infiltrating the CIA in New Orleans and so on and so forth. But that kind of double agency was the topic of Alan Dulles' book, Craft of Intelligence. He described perfectly everything Oswald was doing as a double fantasy agent. But 
when it came time to say something about it, he clearly preferred not to be bothered when he was on the Warren Commission. Oswald Mosley was the head of the British Union of Fascists. A namesake Oswald, his identity cards were stamped December 8th. Right, it's not the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So, um, uh, Joseph, no, no, Herman Hess, no, Herman Goering, the second ranking um, Nazi German, the highest ranking to be arrested in Nuremberg, left a widow whose attorney, Melvin Belly, used to appear on Star Trek. He beamed down to represent Jack Ruby, Herman Goering's widow's uh, attorney. Melvin Valley represented Jack Ruby, who had the same psychiatrist as Charlie Manson. Jack Ruby did. So we know these, some of these things about these perpetrators. You know, George Takai is still going strong. He was, George Takai was on Star Trek with Melvin Valley. And he's going strong with Dan Rather, who, woo, he really pulled a fast one to do about Dan Rather said he saw the Zapperter film, and Kenny's head goes violently forwards. What a liar. But Rather is an important name, what you would rather do. Connor McManus used to have his game kill the man with the ball. And we know from the Texas school book script that the ball was pussy ball. So... He killed a man with the uh, Jacqueline Onassis and grabbed the wifey. They had Charles Bronson, who's notorious for filtering a man's wife, and Dewey Browse at Tacoma's running somebody called Braun Onoski. That's a joke because Kasparovsky tore my head off, and he was just like Charles Bronson. He was working with the crowd, had Regista Corona, I mean, Yoko Ono. So they'd get someone named Braun Onoski to make like a whoop, whoop, whoop. What are you going to want to make some of it queer about out of the situation? You know, follow me around with Clint Eastwood the coits. There's more to it than that, of course. General, the Tacoma uh, Community College Library has a, a book called The Fascist in Britain, 1962, it was published. Colin Cross and General Edwin Walker's name is spelled out on the back of this book about Oswald Mosley as the most dangerous racist in America. He was arrested for threatening to kill JFK at the University of Mississippi race riots, which he led. No sooner did he get arrested for let go for threatening to kill JFK. But lo and behold, he's the star witness for the Warren Commission. And they have home movies of him and Oswald. Star witness. Got a figure. So where does this lead? Well, it leads to a lot of different things in terms of shenanigans. You know, we know the RSV, which stands for Richard Starkey's Victory has tons of our children in the emergency rooms of the hospital at this very moment. They uh, swashbucklingly lied. They went to the Ukraine to whoop, 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 want to make some of it queer, but um, with uh, all the other riffraff hooligans who of the fossil fuel industry who have cheated us of echo schools for half a century. So JFK was on his interiors tour talking about the ecology program back in 1963. That's that. Greta Thunberg said 30 years ago, 55 years ago. Try, you little Greta. So, um, you know, there's been a lot going on and, you know, it's um, an axis cacophony system. Oh, they're gonna plug a hole in heaven. I mean, plug a hole in it. They're gonna they're gonna make it better by depopulating. But man, they've been planning to do this. They 
fossil fueled Africa into animosity for America. Who cares about democracy? We need water and plumbing and food. And they, they fossil fuel that they put out in a record with a cover for Yoko Ono called Flame Over Africa. They bragged about their plan to demolish the environmental um, safeties and modify the environment to a big thunder and storm deluge. They've been planning it, believe it or not, since World War I, the Cubists. So you say, oh, you really, this is your lucky day, queer, but you're going to connect the Cubists to JFK's assassination. Better let's see. Woo, 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 woo. Let's see you do it. Let's see you connect the Cubists. What hop, skip, and a jump when you pour on milk is the conspiracy theorists going to come up with? Well, it turns out that Hitler Reagan cinema was w encrypted with pro axis sensibilities. Like he says, that's Herman Goring's train. That's almost good enough for me. The subtext, the unstated, under, understated text is only Hitler is good enough for Ronald Reagan. And they have him sitting under a, an extra swastika over the U.S. It says, under the U.S. over a swastika, it says, rather us. Like, damn, rather, rather us. And these were the people who made the burning cross for the KKK in the film Birth of the Nation. Well, D.W. Griffith was meeting with Freddie Luigi and um, uh, the, the other dude, Maricotti, I guess his name is. But Freddie Luigi introduced D.W. Griffith to Mussolini. Benito Mussolini's son was a big name in Hollywood. And, you know, Walt Disney was promoting um, Adolf Hitler. Disney was virtually creating uh, Adolf Hitler into what he became. So you have these uh, weasels all hobnobbing together. With Spansky of Kharkiv and Moscow, back so Gay Eisenstein wrote, wrote a book about Disney. And he was in on what they were doing. It's a fourth dimensional freak show that Robert Fripp did. The, the twit guitarist who tortured me because his wife is oppressed and went after a deaf girl for teaching me sign language horror show for in England was, you know, barking mad with Wispensky stuff when he introduced himself to me, swiveling on his stool and playing elusive benefactions from the beyond. And Wispensky was basically hanging out in the age of Houdini, 1910s, with Prokofiev and Picasso, the Cubist dimension, when Bly Sanders came along and started saying, you can convince people of anything. You can take over reality from the fourth dimension. So they pulled a Houdini with Weasler, and they did the same thing with that asshole, John Lennon which is what the double fantasy stuff was about. And then, oh, he, he left the legacy. It's a seance legacy for the victims of AIDS, children. Oh, Father Yoko Ono, she's going to avenge the atomic bomb. And this is what they pull, you know, the stark raving mad. And it's Queen Elizabeth's last will and testament, the Texas school book, you know, it's just nuts. So, you know, what they did was they called it Casper. The friend that got Casper for Weinberger, you know, and they say that, you know, that thought of wedlock is no, no, and we'll give you what you want, but then we're going to blow you off because you took too much. You're the ones who are indulgent. So who asked you anyway? You know, and this was a whole circus of George Takai and John Wayne and Oswald. There's pictures of Oswald and John Wayne. So they, the, the weirdest movie ever made is The Green Berets, John Wayne's film about tripping people into go, giving people, he they say in this weirdest movie ever made, Vietnam will make LSD look like mother's milk or something like that. They say in this stupid evil movie that opens with a German, I mean, a Marine singing in German. What, what, how can you get weirder than that? The whole thing is Axis revenge and the, they come out with their fashion show you know the transvestites from uw dialectical if the, the the word for pussy is hemlock if you touch 
a woman's nipple, you deserve to die and to be forced to confess all your sin for Brian Eno's NASA machine from ultra high. I mean, this is what they're doing. And Richard, RSV for Richard Starkey's victory has, has thousands of American children fighting for their lives in hospitals all over the country. God bless America. Go out and vote. We got to do something to get a, the, the upper hand on these stupid stooges who think they're so smart. You know, I mean, they, people who are in front of the climate change movement are inheriting the wind. We've got to help um, deal with the crisis of ecology, but we can't just um, surrender our history books to this um, high-minded seriousness from the fourth dimension that tells us that life is a fiction to be told by Hollywood. 